Good morning guys, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi Taihutu. Yes, I am the guy that with his family, three years ago sold literally everything they owned. Their house, their companies, their cars, their bikes, their toys, their clothes, their shoes. We took all the money, went all into Bitcoin and started traveling the world in a camper van. Now, three years later, we are still traveling the world fully all in into Bitcoin, supporting this industry 24 seven. Now coming to you from Chanak Lam, Thailand on Koh Phangan. And yes, I sound very energetic and exciting because why? Today in this video, I'm going to show you a chart with a signal I didn't show you before. And this signal is indicating we are just entering the huge bull run we have all been waiting for. I haven't seen this signal before. This chart is showing us a really cool signal. You need to watch this video. Also shortly showing you in this video who is owning all these Bitcoins, how many Bitcoin wallets with million dollar worth of Bitcoin are there, and which of our age groups are owning these Bitcoins. Really cool video, enjoy it to the fullest. Enjoy this video, guys. Let's take a huge jump into the office. One, two, three. Big jump this time. Yes, I want to make a big jump. Why a big jump? I don't know. I just felt like a big jump. <laughs> Welcome to today's video. Sunday, I will do to try a live tomorrow. If I'm not doing a live tomorrow, I'm not doing a video probably on Sunday. I need this day off because we're leaving the island, so we want to visit some friends and everything. So in my Telegram group, I will keep you up to date on Twitter and Facebook. So you know that it will be a live a few hours before I go live. Let's talk about Bitcoin guys, because yesterday we saw this drop again and then you see these YouTubers making a huge crash and uh, they get a lot of views and clicks again. Um, uh, I did see a small correction of 200 US dollars to 9,100, but we are again around I think 9,270 US dollars at the moment, so that's perfect. If we look at this amazing Bitcoin chart, pack, that one on this chart guys you can see the BTC volatility and you can see we are nearing a historical low again no I'm not talking about a Bitcoin price low I'm talking about the BTC volatility low if you can look at the chart you can see a few vertical lines these vertical lines show you exactly when the volatility was this low as we are seeing now as you can see in May 2017 we saw a volatility level that was as low as now and that was just before the huge bull run up. We can also see same around 15th October in 2018. At that point we first saw a dip and then a run up. We also saw the volatility touching this same level in March 2019. You know what happened after March 2019. We made the small run up to 14,000 US dollar. Exactly at that moment that we hit a historical low in the volatility at in March 2019. You can also see a line around February 2020. That is exactly the moment we saw this huge dip. So yes, these volatility moments can show us that we move as a market, but the move can be upwards and downwards. I think the next move will be upwards. As we, if you look closely to the chart, you can see that we are already forming a new green kind of volatility candle on the chart so I think we will go and push from here so I think we reach an historical volatility low again and I think we will go up from here I think this historical low at this time is indicated we will go up soon with Bitcoin way more important guys I think is this chart I'm going to show you next this chart is showing you an indicator a signal we only see once per bull run cycle only once so the last time we saw this signal was in 2016. Can you imagine if you knew that this signal was indicated this huge bull run in 2016 and you would have bought Bitcoin because of this signal? This is the signal that made many people multi-millionaires in crypto because they stepped into this market because of this signal. This signal is now shown on the charts again. I'm going to show you the chart, but before I'm going to show you the chart, please give the video already a thumbs up, share it with your community, 
subscribe to our channel, hit the notification bell and leave a small comment. And I'm going to show you a chart that is indicating that we will see a huge run up from here. Okay guys, I kept you waiting long enough. Let's take the chart. This one, pop. Yes, beautiful chart, isn't it? What do you see? I will tell you, <laughs> that's my job. I'm vlogging on the beach, telling you what you see on charts. <laughs> This is a three week chart. Every candle you see on the charts represents three weeks. I haven't shown you guys a three week chart before. It's the first time. So please be aware every candle is three weeks. That's why we call the three week chart. If you look at this chart, you see this black line curling. This black line, guys, is the 27 period moving average. I'm going to walk into the shadow because it's bloody hot. I want to have a little bit shadow because it's too warm for me now, guys. Give me a sec. But if you look at this black line, the 27 moving average of this period, so you can see that the last time this line was curling up was in 2016. So the last time this black line started to curl up was in 2016, just before the 2000% huge bull run. This is a huge indicator because it takes the average of three week candles. The line is a 27 period moving average. This is a lot of data calculated into this line. So it's a very zoomed out indicator. And if you look at this line and you see exactly when it started to curl in 2016 and what happened after, and then you fast forward to the moment of today on the chart, you can see that we just started to curl up again. This line is curling up just like 2016. This means we can see an insane bull run from this moment onwards. And yes, we still didn't break downwards below 9,100, 9,000. We are keeping the support around this area. A lot of people are not willing to sell the Bitcoins at these prices. So believe me, many, many more people, not only you, want Bitcoin to go up. That's why they are not selling. That's why they are buying. That's why they are accumulating Bitcoin more and more. Because everybody can see that all these long-term indicators, these macro indicators, they are all pointing to one direction, to a bull market direction. All of these indicators we spoke of in the last couple of videos, guys, they are all telling us the same. If you look at the long term, this is an amazing moment to step into Bitcoin. Even if we drop a little bit to 8,000, it doesn't matter because we are going to see a huge run up. This three week chart, this 27 moving average period line shows exactly the same. We started to curl up. If we curl up in this line, that is not easy to do. It's not a five minute chart or a few hours chart. It's a three week chart. So curling up takes a lot of power. And because of this, I believe that we are going to see a huge run up in the next couple of weeks, months. And that guys is not the only reason. There is another reason because guys, if you look at the signal I already shared with you guys yesterday, we broke this diagonal trend line. Trend line that started at 14,000 last year and now went down to 10,500 this year. This line, we broke it and we are retesting it. I showed you on the, on the line chart. Do you remember this chart where I showed you, okay, if we look at the candles, it's not clear, but if I show you a line chart, you can see we broke it and we are retesting this line. So this is also a very positive indicator that if we break these lines and then we retest them, we are probably going to see a huge move upwards, guys. This line is very important to keep track of. And this line you can see on this chart as well. You can see we broke this trend line and you can see we are retesting it, guys. And by retesting it, we are going to give them a huge explosion upwards. Then, guys, there is another indicator that is massive. On the same chart, guys, on this three-week chart, we can also see the MACD turning bullish. Yes, huge indicator also on the three-week chart. Why, guys? If you look back in history, so look to, le to the left on the chart, we can see how important it is that this MACD crossed bullish. The previous time that this MACD 
on the three week chart crossed bullish is April, May 2019. Yes, exactly before this huge run up to 14,000 US dollar in Bitcoin. And the time before that the MACD crossed bullish is 2015. Yes, way ahead before the huge bull run we saw up to 2018. So this is huge. So both of the times this MACD crossed bullish on the three week chart before today, both of these times led into an insane run up from I think 1000 to 20,000 and from 3000 to 14,000. And now guys on the chart you can see this MACD is again going bullish. This is predicting as well a huge run up. Be aware it's a three week chart, a zoomed out chart. Wow, it's hot. It's, it's not only hot because of the sun, I'm feeling hot because of all these things that I see on the charts at the moment. Man, I start to sweat, I need to go all in. I still have a few US dollar teether and DAI and oh my, I need to exchange them now to Bitcoin, Litecoin and Ethereum because it soon can be the moment again to see a huge run up and I, don't, and I really don't want to miss it. No, this is not FOMO, this is not fear of missing out, this is reading the charts and seeing what happened in the history and just following what the charts tell you. Guys, if it is up to me and I'm not your financial advisor and I don't have any financial knowledge, I'm just a dude walking on the beach all over the world and invested in Bitcoin since 2013. So yes, I do have some experience in this industry, but again, I'm not your financial advisor. If it is up to me and what I see on the charts, this could be a very beautiful moment to go all into Bitcoin. Sell your house, sell your car, sell all the stuff you don't need. If you are not an all-in type, then sell your third car and your second car and then just drive one car for the next couple of months because if the bitcoin price again will run up the way it did before you will be able to buy a few new cars in one and a half year or something guys so if you want to have my advice sell all the stuff in your life that you don't need you know that attic that is full with shit your uh, basement that is full with shit your garage or your second garage that is full with shit collect all this shit you don't need it do a huge cleanup do a garage or garden sale, sell everything you don't need and put that money into Bitcoin and then just sit on this Bitcoin the next two years and enjoy in two years time a new all time high of Bitcoin. And then you just realize in two years time, wow, my garage sale just made me a shitload of money. If we look at the Bitcoin price, yes, Bitcoin has been going sideways for more than a month now. Um, we can see that the trading volume is decreasing tremendously. So if we look at the trading pairs, uh, Bitcoin, US dollar, Tether, that one decreased with 56%. If we look at the trading pair, Bitcoin, US dollar, that one decreased with 44%. And if we take a look at the total trading volume of crypto, the, uh, in total we decreased with 49.6%, I think. So yes, there is less trading at the moment because Bitcoin is going sideways. Good morning. <laughs> and because Bitcoin is going sideways, people see it as boring and that's just why they don't trade. And they just sit on their stack, which we refer to as hollow pretty hot I'm going to sit down here in the shadow because it's too hot I am going to use my office chair of course this one the beautiful one over here and I think it will be one of the last times I am able to use it because guys as you know we are flying to Europe next week so the trading vol volume is decreasing tremendously but how many Bitcoin addresses hodl more than a million US dollar at the moment really cool fact there are now 13,290 Bitcoin addresses that would make you a millionaire. So all these 13,290 Bitcoin addresses hold more than 107 Bitcoins because it takes 107 Bitcoins to make you a millionaire at the moment. Of course, this number is very volatile because every time when Bitcoin drops in price, the wallets need to hold more Bitcoin to be a millionaire. So if you look at this chart, you can see the difference in volatility between or Bitcoin addresses hodling more than 1 million US dollar worth of Bitcoin or if you compare it to the Bitcoin addresses that hodl more than 100 Bitcoins. So let's take a look. So if you look at this chart, pop. on this chart, you can see the volatility. If you look at the, the wallet addresses that have $1 million worth of Bitcoin in it, you can see it goes up, down, up, down, up, down. The other line, I think it's yellow, the yellow line, that one is representing the amount of Bitcoin addresses that hodl 100 Bitcoins. So that line is less volatile. 
This is, of course, because that doesn't express the US dollar value of Bitcoin, but it expresses the amount of Bitcoins they are holding in their wallet. So the amount of Bitcoin addresses that hold more than 100 Bitcoins is increasing very slowly. So this is the one that is important for me because I think Bitcoin is not going to go much lower than 9K. We are going to go to you know, 50K, 100K. So it will take less and less Bitcoins to become a millionaire. Does this number tell us how many Bitcoin millionaires we have in the world? No, it doesn't because we don't know who are the owners of the Bitcoin wallets and we don't know if the owner owns multiple Bitcoin wallets. So the number of Bitcoin millionaires is somewhere between one and 13,290. Uh, one, ah, that one is uh, almost not possible because that would mean that the one person owns all these Bitcoin wallets. In my opinion, we cannot tell you who um, are Bitcoin millionaires and how many Bitcoin millionaires we have. What we can show you is this chart and on this chart you can see which people in which age category are probably owning these Bitcoin wallet addresses. This chart is showing you the age ownership of Bitcoin wallet addresses. So if we look at the age category from 18 till 24, we can see that 10% of them own a Bitcoin wallet address. If we then take a look at the second age category from 25 till 35, we can see that 21% of them holds Bitcoins in a wallet. The next category guys is from 35 to 44, 27% of them owns Bitcoin. If we look at the age category of 45 till 54, there we can see that 20% of them owns Bitcoin. And the category of 55 plus, there more than 22% own Bitcoin. And if you look closely to the chart, you can also see the shift from all these young people being invested in 2019 in Bitcoin, shifting slowly to now the older generations owning Bitcoin. You can see there is a decrease at the younger age categories, 2019 compared to 2020. And there is an increase in the older generations. So the millennials and the baby boomers, these generations shifted in 2019 from less ownership in Bitcoin to more ownership in Bitcoin. So we can see a shift from the younger generations into the older generations, which is a very good shift because the older generations still huddle all the fiat. This is a very positive move, which also indicates to me we, that we could see much higher Bitcoin prices. Because the millennials, or Generation Y, we refer to them. <laughs> By the way, I sell really cool millennial t-shirts on my website. Did you notice? Check the t-shirts. I'm selling a really cool Bitcoin t-shirts on the website. One of these is called Bitcoin Generation Y, and then with the B of Bitcoin. And then below this text is a date, the date you're mined, for example. You can change this date as a customizable t-shirt. You just go to my website, click on the t-shirt, and then you customize the text below it. So then you have a Bitcoin generation Y with any text you want below it. Do go and check out all the t-shirts, guys, because 25% of the profit of this shop also goes to the poor people all around the world. By the way, to give you an update about how much we already collected for happy food here in Thailand, at the moment we are around 1400 US dollar in crypto donations. This is a huge number. Thank you so much. I had contact with the founder of Happy Food and he told me since I made this video a few days ago, the number of donations on their funding page, via donations, increased times four. So this is also a huge number of people that is now donating to their GoFunding page. And yesterday, my friend Chris, MM Crypto, also made a shout out to me for making this video and because Chris made a shout out and he has 60k followers on YouTube he made a shout out to my channel to my donation wallets and also to the co-funding page of Happy Food and it even increased more so thank you Chris for doing this shout out this is what crypto community should do working together giving each other shout outs because we need to grow all our channels to million follower channels so we can really educate the mass in crypto. We are going to do this donation this Sunday around 2 o'clock at Happy Food here in Chalaklam. So till Sunday I will still collect all the donations and then on Sunday I will exchange everything to Thai Bot and then I will donate the Thai Bot in cash. So you can completely transparent see how much donations went into the wallets. You can see how much donations go out of the wallets and you can see how many Thai Bot I am giving to this charity. So you will see that there is not one penny missing. I will give everything to this charity, maybe even to another small charity if I am 
able to arrange it because there is a group of 11 homeless children on the island that needs clothes and I'm trying to get contact to this group so that I can provide these kids of clothes and shoes for the next year so maybe I will split it a little bit but all this money will go to the donations and we'll see very transparent that I will do so we as a family will even top up the donations I think with another 150 euros so it's going to be a huge gift to Happy Food and to maybe a very small other group of kids that really are in need of clothes but to get back to the numbers guys we can see that 50% of the bitcoins is hodled by the Millennials and these Millennials are now reaching the peak of their investment maturity age which means they are accumulating wealth and which means the more wealth they accumulate and the older they get they will want to invest a part of their wealth because they don't want to have it on the bank account they're not receiving interest anymore over there so all these Millennials now getting older want to protect their capital protect their wealth and use it to invest in cryptos or stocks or real estate so they, they can protect their wealth because if they would keep it in euros they are not receiving interest if they would keep it in dollars they are not receiving interest so they need to diversify their wealth and by diversifying their wealth they are now diversifying into crypto as well and because they're already 50% of these Millennials hodl Bitcoin this number can only increase in the next couple of years and even if the percentage of Millennials hodling Bitcoin doesn't increase probably the value they hodl in Bitcoin will increase so there's a huge chance that of these 13,000 Bitcoin wallets with more than a million dollar worth of Bitcoin belong to Millennials because 50% of them should be in the hands of millennials that was a lot of talking in this bloody hot sun so i'm going to stop here this was today's video guys i hope you really enjoyed the video if you did enjoy the video please first smile then give the video a thumbs up share it with your communities subscribe to our channel hit the notification bell and leave a comment because i love to reply to your comments guys I want to thank you for watching this video here again on this beautiful beach in Chalaglom and please remember to always zoom out in crypto and to zoom in in life and to enjoy every single minute of the day because that is exactly what makes life worth living. Zooming out from this beach on Chalaglom and see you tomorrow again. Bye!